Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, um, let me take a quick look at my inventory here. I think we're pretty, yeah, we're way full. Um, let me get rid of some of this stuff that we're carting around. Uh, just make sure I don't drop anything important. Okay. Um, I kind of don't remember what exactly it was we came in here for. I, I think we got a couple of quests to turn in before we head off. It's been a couple of weeks since we um, recorded, or since I recorded a Skyrim video. Let me know if you see anything you like. And I'll talk about why that is in just a little bit. Oh, what am I Hello, saying? friend. Of course, in the mar Take a look. Let's sell off some of this stuff that we're not going to want. Okay, we can get rid of... See this iron sword. Um, okay, what are we using for We're using the steel mace? Okay, yeah, we get rid of the sword. Oh look, we increased our speech. Nice. Um hmm. not a whole lot. <laughs> Everything here is like a Unique weapon or uh, something I'm using. Uh, don't need that. Um, er. Okay. I guess that's about as much as I can do for right now. How much money have I got? Three grand. All right. Go. Thank you very much for your business. Okay, let's see what uh, quest we're supposed to be turning in here. Um, we got to collect a bounty. Uh, bring one mammoth tusk. Um, okay, I think. All we want to do is collect that bounty, um, which seems like a long way to go just to turn into one quest. But whatever, we'll go do it. Fresh baked loaves, still warm from the oven. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back from those filthy hag ravens? No, yet? not yet. When the Empire surrendered to the Almighty, I'm working on it. So, um, I do want to get on... You're a good friend of me. That means something. Who are you? You're a battleborn. Damn those gray mains to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Haven't you heard it by now? He made the mistake of supporting the storm cloaks, and it cost him. Bitter news for his family, but a fate they should have expected. Yeah. Long live the Empire. Okay. He's still not ready to tell us what really happened to that guy. I have to get my persuade skill up a little higher. Okay. Let's head inside. So yeah, um, sorry, I was in the middle of a thought. Um, I really want to get the Companions quest going. Um, and it's a long way to that first quest. So, um... We're gonna be taking a, I, sir, a bit of a hike. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, Let's very busy. See. Perhaps I can assist you. Yeah, the bandit, this guy. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Give me like two grand. Uh, one grand. All right. Or one thousand. One hundred. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. The problem we're gonna have, gang, is that um, I'm already pretty full. Um, in terms of the weight that I'm carrying, so, um, we're going to be heading a long way out, and I've got to carry everything that I own with me. We can't drop anything off in a house or anything, um, which is not so good, because I'm not going to have a lot of room to pick up new stuff, but, whatever.
So yeah, along the way, I will talk about why it's been a while since we've recorded. Um, I talked about it actually in the last episode that was almost two weeks ago. Um, so if you're paying attention, you'll already know basically the reason. Okay, let's pull up our map. Now the, the quest we want is way out here. That's where we're going. It's all the way past Rorikstead. So it's a ways off. Now I could fast travel part of the way there. But, um, and you know, I have nothing against fast travel, guys. I, I use it in other games, and, and I'll use it in this game uh, where necessary. But when I'm early on in the game and there's a lot of like random possible events that could happen or if there's stuff we could run across along the way, I'll usually walk um, until we cut some of that down. And, uh, yeah, just because, you know, I want to make sure we get, we hit as many of these kind of events as possible. And if you start uh, fast traveling too soon, you're going to miss a lot of that stuff. Okay, so we should be heading towards Rorikstead, which isn't even on the map <laughs> or on the sign, but it's this way. So let's go head out. I don't know if we'll actually go into the, um, What, it, what was that, a settlement or a dungeon or something? Um, when we get there, by the time we get there, we might have uh, run out of time. Depending upon how many stops we make along the way, if there's any random encounters, things like that. Ooh, torch bug, torch bug, torch bug. Mine. Any more torch bugs? So yeah, let's just head in that general direction. I mean, we'll probably stop off in Rorikstead. We might stop there and talk to everybody. Uh, wouldn't hurt. If it's a settlement like River Run was. Um, so yeah, guys, this is our first video in almost two weeks. There's a guard up here of some sort. Who are you? There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. Oh, yeah? I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Hey, I'm important. I'll persuade him. No, I think I've got this one. Thanks, though. Oh, man. Is my persuade not good enough for you, fool? Alright. Um... So as of the last episode, and actually as of the last few of these episodes, um, I've really been uh, basically irritated by the, the sound quality. Um, we've had some issues with the sound um, for one reason or another. It seems like just about every episode. Um, and I wanted to really make sure we, I got that locked down. Uh, and got some nice quality sound, both for the commentary and for the game sound. Um, hopefully that's the case now. There should be no problems. Um, I'm still prone to glitches. Glitches are going to happen. Um, the hardware that I'm using to capture this is not... It's not out of the question that it could glitch from now and now and again. That's... Hey, you. Ah, smell that fresh air? Truly, this is a good place to play a song. Sure, sure, go away. Until next time. Um, it does, uh, in fact, the last thing I recorded, which was uh, a Dungeons & Dragons Online episode, it, the hardware glitched on me and, and didn't catch any uh, game sound. Um, come here, you. Come here. Come here. Come here, butterfly. Come here. Come here. Come here. You can't get away. You can't get here. I think you got away. Um, yeah, I thought it might have actually been my fault because I had uh, just switched over to the new system and 
it wasn't entirely tested yet, but it turns out that it was in fact a hardware glitch. Um, I had to actually reset the hardware because uh, when I tried to record again, it did the same thing. Um, so I just had to re reboot it and it worked fine as soon as I rebooted it. So um, there is always the possibility of that happening now and again and I lose the game sound. Um, there's not really anything I can do about that, so I hope we're going the right way. We seem to be. All right. Some kind of mine up here. But um, as much as I could, anyway, I was I wanted to get that sound really taken care of. Um, so I think we've got it locked down now. Hopefully this is pretty decent quality audio. This game especially was suffering from, from problems. Um, the other two games I'm doing, not, not as much. Catching all the butterflies and lunar uh, torch bugs. There's a moose. Hi, moose. There's another moose or a deer or something. Jeez, dude. What is this over here? There's something over here. Let's go check it out. Uh, okay. It's a big circle thing. crap out of me actually guys <laughs> um, why am I moving slow there we go that's unusual usually you hear the wolves coming before they attack I think they're gold um that's kind of odd that I didn't hear them all right let's see where we are uh, pretty good, actually. Not too bad. Um, let's head back up to the main road. There should be a turn off to our uh, right pretty soon. Who are you people? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Who are you? It happened so fast. One minute the dragon was there, the next it was gone. Everything was destroyed. No, I was too afraid to look. I don't know what we're going to do now. We have nothing left. Oh, here. You're too kind. Thank you. Be careful and stay safe. Well, I hope it helps. Okay, there we go. Rourke's dead this way. All right. This is the turn off to the right. So we'll head this way. Oh, I think I see a Nern route. Yeah, I do. He's snagging that. And this. 
and this. And that. Man, look at all the moths. Come here. Where'd you go? Come here. I need your, your wings. Okay. We're actually doing pretty good, guys. Um... like a mine right up in here somewhere, a cave of some sort. We'll uh, kind of ignore that for right now. Uh oh. What's going on up here? Who are you? Are you friendly? The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. Who are you? Hey, I'm not done with you. Come here. Hey, come here. You don't want to talk to me. Rude. Alright, fine. I don't want to talk to you either. There's a castle or something this way. All in all, this has been a pretty uneventful trip. Maybe we'll just hang out in Rorikstead for a little bit. And then... Um, depending on how that goes. We'll head out to the... Uh, whatever it is I'm supposed to go to. Whether it's a mine or a fortress or whatever. Let's see, what time is it? Oh. Closing in on midnight. Oh, I see somebody ahead. Who are you? Oh, you're not friendly. Divine. Assassin. Why are you attacking me? Why is your assassin attacking me? I'll take that. Note from a Dark Brotherhood assassin. Lockpicks, gold, amethyst. Hmm. What did the note say? Let's see. Note from... We were to eliminate Zarina by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been informed somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received pay for the contract. Oh, someone's got a price on my head. Okay. Wait, can I back up again? Hmm, oh, I got a spell time. I can read that. Um, I've got a book that I haven't read. Probably sh should I read this? Uh, I'll read it. Um, I don't know, guys. I might have already read this book. Eh, maybe not. Story doesn't seem familiar. I'm just kind of skimming it. I'll read it when I edit the video. And you guys should be pausing this video to read these. For those of you that are interested in the lore. Of course, it's another 70,000 page book. Okay. We've read it. Alright. Looks like that's about it, huh? Why did that assassin attack me? That's just rude. All 
Oh, I got the Dark Brotherhood again on my tail. That doesn't seem good. They're gonna send more assassins. We have to figure out what that's all about. Well, other than being attacked by an assassin, there's Rurik's dead. It was a fairly uneventful trip. It's kind of good. Maybe we should see what there is to see in Rurik's dead. Which one's the... It's a farmhouse. You guys got a tavern? Or an inn? That's another farmhouse. Hmm. Ah, this looks like it might be an inn of some sort. Well, hello everyone. Who are you? Do you have news of our quarry? Oh uh, yeah, you guys yeah, looking for that one? No, I haven't seen any visually that you're looking for. Father, how old were you when you left home? I know where this is going, son. As I've said many a time, the world is a dangerous place. You're much safer here at the farm with me. But I don't want to be safe. I'm not afraid of the dangers out there. The only thing I'm afraid of is wasting my life on this farm. Yes, that's your mother's side of the family talking. Just stay on for one more season. That's all I ask. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing they asked for of uh, Luke Skywalker? You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. What do you need? I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you could change his mind. I'll see. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. I'll see what I can do. Hey. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. I hope you could change my father's mind. I only take real mind. coin here. No handouts and no bartering. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? Dude, he's standing right there. But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. <sighs> Another time or not at all? It's really none of your business after all. I'll deal with you later. Who are you? Oh, yeah. Do you have news of our quarry? No, I don't have any news of your quarry. I hope you can change my mind. You can be a little stubborn. Um. Well, you guys don't even have a uh, a bard in here, do you? All right, you. That fool. Some folk here will tell you I'm sheltering my boy. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. Bit of advice. Folks here don't care for magic or those that use it. If you're intent on it. Check at the college up in Vinterhold. Either that or go see the Jarl's court wizard. Ah, uh, sure. I'll show you to your room. Write this. I hope you could change my father's mind. He can be a little stubborn. Let me know if there's anything else you need. No, that should do it. Thank you very much. Okay, so what time is it? It's now 1 in the morning. Let's go for, um... No, not 24 hours. That would be bad. Uh, like maybe six hours. That puts us at 7:30. That should be good, I would think. All right. Well rested. Do you have news of our quarry? No, I do not have news of your freaking quarry, you fool. Do you have news of our quarry? Alright. 
guy seems like he wants some armor. But I'm really trying to save up for that house. I mean, otherwise, I'd give him the 105 gold. It's not that big a deal, right? Okay. Is there anybody out here who wants anything? Needs anything? Hey, dude, who are you? If you've got some business in Roaringstead, you should start by speaking to Juan. You're Rorik in Rorikstead? Really? Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but Juan's the one who deals with people. I'm afraid I lost my charm years ago. Yes, that's right. Look around you. Most of the lands you see are mine. Most of this I purchased while my comrades were fighting in the south, helping the Empire against the Aldmeri Dominion. Back then, nothing would grow here, and so the land was worthless. Now, thanks to the hard work and the gods' blessings, our farms prosper. Sure, sure. Aye, that I did. I commanded a force of several dozen men, most of them levies from villages in this part of the hold. I damn near met my end in that war. An old merry soldier ran me through with his blade and left me for dead. A healer named Joanne saved my life. He's been my closest friend ever since. I tell you, that man is a miracle worker. Not yet, anyway, though it certainly could. With most of the Holt's fighting men committed to the war, there are fewer swords to keep the road safe from brigands and wild beasts. And of course, as the war drags on and supplies run low, our ample fields and stores of food will make a tempting target for desperate men. The best we can hope for, a swift end to the conflict. The longer the war goes on, the worse it will be for all of us, I'm afraid. Sure, sure, sure. Farewell. See ya. So I'm supposed to talk to some guy named, um... Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened. Hundreds of years. Rorik's Manor. Hmm. Let's see if we can get a local map. Oh yeah, there we go. Um... Okay, there's where we're... There's where we're going. Well, I don't really see whatever person is I'm supposed to be talking to. Doesn't seem like a very big place. It's like the, um, the wheat fields. Some guys I who I don't envy. Those poor children who lost their parents in this war. Lives lost, crops burned, land ruined. There's no greater sin than war. And yet, you were an orphan, and you've made something of your life. I was lucky. If you hadn't rescued me, I'd probably be a thief, a mercenary, or something even worse. It's too fine a day to dwell on such things. Let's get back to work, and forget about wars and orphans for a while. Who are you? Did you see those guards? Get out of line and you'll have them to deal with. Do I detect a bit of jealousy in your tone? I would hardly blame you. What calling could be more noble than this? I see in your eyes that you think I jest. I assure you I don't. I am proud, and rightfully so, of the work we do here. Working the soil with your hands, seeing your seeds take root and grow, tending a herd. There is a joy in honest labor you won't find elsewhere. Um, sure. In Whiterun, mostly. Ennis handles the business arrangements, but I know that he has a few purchasers who give us a fair price. Ennis prides himself on his shrewd business schemes. For my part, I'm far happier working with cattle and crops than with people. Honest pay for honest work. Okay. Sold for some cabbage. That's great. Okay, thank you. All right, then. Hey. Name's Ennis. If you've got friends who do business in Whiterun, they might know me. You talked to Reldith yet? She's like a mother to me. Yeah, I did. Actually, she's standing right there. I was doing it while you were working. Um, 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um. Okay. Anybody else I need to talk to in this city? Here's a dude. Oh, Eric. I already talked to you. I hope you could change my father's mind. It's true. For as long as I can remember, our crops have always done well. I'm not sure whether it's the soil, climate, or the favor of the divines. But we've never had a poor harvest. Born and raised right here in Rorikstead. My father was a soldier. He fought in the Great War, and when it was over, he retired here to raise a family. My mother passed away when I was just a babe. So he did his best to raise me on his own. It's not the most exciting place in the world, but the people here work hard. They don't cause trouble for anyone. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. Oh, um. I hope you can change my father's mind. You can be a little stubborn. What is this? Sure, sure. Okay, let's not mine too much because um, I don't have a ton of extra weight. <laughs> what did I just say? Okay, stop. Stop. Stop mining. Uh, gosh darn it. Now I'm done. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to sell some of this stuff off. Um, you guys got a shop around here that we can buy stuff? Like this dragon bone? Oh, man. Yeah, this is not going to work for me. We're barely moving. Let's see. It's not a very big town, is it? Oh boy. Okay, guys. Um. Yes, I can see that. Goodness. What I'm going to do is make my way to the inn. See, this is exactly what I was afraid of. I don't want this to happen. We'll come up here and um, see if we can find a chest. And hopefully my stuff will stay in there long enough for me to come get it back later on. Ugh, this is ridiculous. And if not, well, then so be it. I won't put anything important in. Running very slowly, slow motion. <laughs> no, I haven't found your you stupid quarry. Don't even ask me. No chest in here. Oh, steel. <sighs> okay. Um. Let's see. How do I drop something? What else did I pick up? Like stone or something, right? Where did it go? Quarried stone. 20. All of them. Okay, this is weight per unit. Okay, I see. So, I'm actually carrying. Alright. Well, those are mine. It's worth quite a bit. So don't lose it. You should take more care leaving things lying about. Here. No, I don't. If 
I only take real coin here. No handouts and no bartering. This guy doesn't buy stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Stop pulling at your weapon. I guess I'm gonna leave the stone there. I'll keep the. Uh, I, I, I'll keep the. Um, the dragon stuff. I don't necessarily want to drop that. It's too valuable. If nothing else I could sell it. And that's worth quite a bit of money. Okay guys. Um I guess we have time to head for the um, the leader, the bandit leader we're supposed to take out. He's not a, I think he's a force warrant, not a bandit leader. So let's go check it out. to see up here. Maybe finish this guy off, huh? Be done with this quest. At least, you know, be ready to turn it in. Right, where are you guys at? Ah, I see a camp. That must be it, huh? the place. Okay, I need your leader. Oh, don't shoot at me. you did. You done messed me up. fire. Where are you at? Come here, you. Yeah. Suck on that. Whoa. Jeez. <laughs> These guys are hard. Uh, healing. Oh, man. 
Force one armor, force one bow. <laughs> um, it's eleven points of damage. Let's see. Force one bow. No, the bow I'm using is better. Oh no, it's not actually. Okay. I make that a favorite. Let's see F. Okay. Give me your arrows. Give me your armor. Yeah. You all twitchy down there. That's what you get for messing with me. Um let's put on the helmet. I don't think I was wearing my helmet. Yeah. It's pretty good armor, right? Alright. Here's your leader. He's the one who's Some more arrows. Force one boots. Alright. Give me your boots. Here, maybe I should wear some of this stuff, huh? Okay, where's your leader? These guys are pretty tough. Someone there? No, nobody's here. You see nothing. You see nothing. First one axe. Alright. Guess I'll pick that up. So now I've picked up some uh, extra carrying capacity. Take a potion, thank you. Since I used so many of them in that battle. What do you got in here? A little bit of money. Um, I'm still not seeing the leader, though, which is disturbing. There's a forward over here. Kill the leader guy? Something remembers killing the leader guy. Hey leader guy, are you in here? Hello? Where are you? Hmm. Let's see. Kill the leader of the serpent buff readout. Hmm. Huh. Well, I'd love to, but I don't see him. You back here? Uh-oh. Ooh, 75 gold. It's just slow for the re, so I'll say it's a ticket and there's a bit of a retreat, but we must well send the tribes, but you don't actually find some will. Hmm. 
That would suggest that they're gone somewhere. Ah. Hey, Peter dude. Where are you at? Oh no. There's a door. That's not good. Alright. These guys are tougher than bandits. Um, let's see. I see the pressure plate. Take the books. the leader at least four people she's great did I say you could shoot at me wall there. Um. Yeah, it is the best I can do. Full Come here. Is my <laughs> endurance down? Um, and what's the deal with this? Uh, what is she using? Um, hmm. Let's see. Portion of strength. Let's get my strength back up so I can run. Um, Damage health, sure. Good lord. Is this cold? to get through that. <sighs> um, are you guys sending me on a suicide mission here? What the heck? That was crazy hard. Oh, 
pressure plate. Does it set off? I don't want to know. I want a reward. I want money. Lots of it. Broke my lock, you rat bastard. Come on. <clears throat> at some point, you gotta tell me at least kind of where that it is. There it is. It's close to there. guys. Okay. Chest. I see a chest. Okay, we're close. There we go. Same. Heavy armor. Drats. Take that. Take that. Um. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and drop the boots. I suppose. Man, I hate to be doing stuff like that because it's all stuff we could sell, but I have no inventory space. Alright, let's see here. Did we explore it? I don't really know. Uh, not really. There's something up here. Ooh, the book. Open this door um, without this thing falling on me. Is there a lever? Hey, let me in. Let me in. How do I get in? Hmm. Get in there. Did I miss a lever somewhere? Is there a lever in here anywhere? Hello, Bueller? Anybody? Hmm. Ah, there we go. That 
pressure plate opened up the door. Take that. Oh, come on. I picked up a potion and you're telling me I can't run? Seriously? How did my weight suddenly get all the way down to 310? Oh, heck. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Um, gosh, I need to drop. Why that potion I took must have worn off. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Carrying too much stuff. That's just just the, just the bottom line. Um, starting with these things. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. The only problem with that is I don't want to drop them because look how much it's worth. I want to sell that. choice though. You know what I mean? The Axe of White Run is a unique weapon. I can't drop that. I could drop the Forsworn Axe, but that's what the axe I want to use. Uh, these are unique weapons. That's a unique weapon. I could drop the Staff and the Steel Mace. Okay, let's drop this. Ooh, maybe we should level up. And put our points into stamp. That would work. Yes, please. Okay. Um, maybe we should look at lock picking. Apprentice locks. Oh, can't do that. 825. Okay, so what else you got? Light armor? Yeah, this is useful. Yeah, okay. Alright. We've really, really got to get a house. There's just no getting around it at this point. Um, let me in. How do I get in? Why is this door not open? Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay. Steel birds in the chest. Gold. Professor Soul Gem, lockpicks, nice, all good stuff. Soul gems, potions, potions, nightshade, wow, all kinds of good stuff in here. Take that book. Oh, good lord. Fish eggs. And once again, I'm overweight. You have got to be kidding. This is getting ridiculous. Come on. Every time I think I got this taken care of. Jeez. This you can drop. Don't need a, a bloody. Alright, 
drop the iron ore. Okay. Um, still do not see a way to open this door. Side. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> what in the world have I got on my hand? <laughs> okay, fine. Okay guys, well that takes care of that. We um, killed the bandit leader, so I'm going to stop here and uh, we'll pick this up in the next video. So I will see you guys then. Thanks a lot.